Hi, my name is Anita, and this is my first update on the Sketchbook Slam Challenge. As you can see, I forgot how to spell sketchbook, apparently. But um, hmm. anyway, on day one, I was off to a slow start. I had to set up the recording studio, so to speak. Uh, I had to move my book, my pencil case, uh, my laptop, everything upstairs to my art room. I've been leaving everything downstairs so I could draw each day without, before or after work without... Uh, uh, having to leave the comfort of my living room. Uh, but for this challenge, I wanted to have a proper working space. So that took up a little bit of my time. Um, but um, I did manage to get, I think I, that morning before work, I managed to get like eight pages done. And when I came home after work, I managed to finish all 20 pages. So I was happy. First day was a success. I was um, looking forward to the, to the rest. Anyway, day two went a lot better. I set up my space, uh, my workspace the night before, and I hit the ground running the next morning, or sketchbook sketching, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, I even had an extra hour before work, so I managed to get all 20 pages in before 10.30, yay! I did run into a few technical difficulties, like uh, <clears throat> forgetting to hit the record button. Or losing my pen. I did find the pen eventually. It rolled under my desk. But anyway, um, that was a little hiccup. But I, like I said, I did manage to get all 20 pages in before work. And I actually, I, I did hope I could draw more after work. Um, but it was a really rough day that day. And by the time I got home, I was just way too tired to to do anything sketchbook wise or otherwise actually um it did leave me feeling a little like a failure that i didn't get to draw more until my husband reminded me that i already succeeded that morning i already managed to meet my quota for the day so that made me feel a lot better and i managed to actually enjoy my evening and, and just relax um day three was mostly uneventful i finished 12 pages before work and I had absolutely no problem finishing the rest of the pages after work. Um, I did find myself a little frustrated with the sketchbook itself. Um, because it's so big, I have a hard time finding a comfortable angle to draw at. Especially since I'm trying to record also, so everything's kind of lying almost flat. And I feel like all my drawings are coming out skewed. So, I don't know... Not quite sure how to remedy that right now. I guess I'll still have uh, quite a few days to go. So hopefully I'll figure it out before this, the challenge is over. But anyway, uh, so that that's so far my biggest complaint about that. Um, day four started normal. I got to drawing right after breakfast. But even though I had more time before work than the previous couple days... I didn't manage to get all my pages done. I don't know why, but I just couldn't get into that groove that I sometimes fall into when I'm drawing. Um, I did enjoy most of the process, but some something just was felt off. I did notice one thing, um, which I was actually quite happy about, that my, my lines are becoming a little more looser. I'm a little more relaxed about sketching. I'm not so worried about the lines being out of whack. Um, in fact, I think the only time so far that I've used an eraser was on the first day or first couple of days. And I just stopped using an eraser, which is a huge progress because I used to be obsessed with erasers. I would erase every line that didn't look like it belonged. But anyway, so I'm a lot freer with sketching because I'm, I guess because the time limit, I don't have time to go back in with an eraser and try and fix everything. So I'm glad about that. Anyway, um, day five started out pretty busy. It was Sunday. It was actually my day off. Um, but I haven't seen a, my, a friend of mine in, in a couple of weeks, so we decided to get together for some coffee. We spent a couple of hours chit-chatting and drawing. I did consider taking my big sketchbook with me, but it's such a huge and heavy book. I just didn't feel like hauling it around with me. 
Um, after the coffee, my family and I went out to lunch. Um, my husband wanted to try this new restaurant that opened, um, but we had to go out of town to get there. Um, the food was good. It, it took a lot longer than I expected. Not not the food, getting there and back. It's, it was an hour drive one way. Um, but uh, the food was good, but the place was so noisy. By the time I got back home, I had a major headache and I had to lie down. So, all in all, I didn't get to draw until like 5, I think, in the evening that day. Uh, which was a lot later than I expected. But I did manage to get my pages in and I was pretty happy about that. Day 6 is where I started having trouble. I had to take my car in for repairs that morning. So I knew I wouldn't be working before work. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be drawing before work. Um, yeah, my car, um, the, the t check tire pressure light came on, which usually it's not a big deal, but it happened like, that was like the third time in a month and a half. And every time so far, I, I took it um, to the dealer we bought my car from, and like, oh, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. And I find like, listen, there's something wrong because this is not normal. I said, usually my light doesn't come on, but once or twice a year, please check it. So they finally dug in deep and they found a puncture or something. Anyway, I need a new tire. So I got to go back on, on Friday and get my tire changed. But anyway, so that ate my morning. Uh... Then, I, I wasn't worried about it because I had a short shift that day, so I, I had plenty of the afternoon and the evening to get all my 20 pages done, except something came up that I did not see coming. And after everything was said and done, I didn't sit down to my sketchbook till, like, I think it was 8 in the evening. By then... I was exhausted, and I only got like eight pages, no, 12 pages done. I got 12 pages. I'm eight pages behind at that point. It was a little frustrating, but, you know, what can you do? Life sometimes gets in the way. Day seven is was yesterday, and it was long and hot. I couldn't do anything in the morning. I had a dentist appointment that I had to take care of. And then I went straight to work, pretty much. It was a long and hot and busy day. Uh, they threw me out into the garden center, which, in this heat, was miserable. So by the time I got home after 9 in the evening, the only thing I could think of was a shower, a cold shower, and bed. So I did not draw anything. So I'm officially 28 pages behind. I'm not too worried just yet. I have Friday off, which the only thing I have scheduled for the day is my tire in the morning. And I plan on spending the whole day drawing, which means I'll be playing catching up and I'm hoping to catch up. So um, I guess this is it for my first update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.